review time. Now this is my new um, X580. So we'll have a look at the frame in a minute, just give you a bit of a look around, a bit of a walk around. We're running the little 1450kV motors with the 30 amp ESCs. We've got a 328p multi-wee board running multi-wee 2.2 in Horizon. And um, we've got our Fat Shark gear on here as well. So, and we've got our little Mobius camera. So, you have a look. There's our little Mobius camera set up there. Set of guns on the front, you'll see them light up. We're running the Hobby King on-screen display. Now that only gives you battery and time flown. So um, there's our there's our 100 milliwatt transmitter in there for the Fat Shark, and uh, there's a filter up in there. And we're also running one of those ping pong lights at the back. So. You can see here, I've got my wiring running through there for those lights, more for orientation. Now, Madge always, <laughs> Madge always says, cover your barrow with a piece of foam. Now, I don't know whether that bit of foam's big enough, but you can never be too sure. But uh, anyway, thought I'd put that over there and sort of fly around. So that's the little uh, Mobius camera. Now these are good. I'm going to use that as the FPV unit. It's all set up and good to go. So you can run this as your camera. You can, I don't know whether you can see that there, but in the back you've got a slot for your card. It takes the same card as this guy. Take the card out and uh, you can run FPV. Now you can run that as an FPV We're camera run and a, record. We're going to run one of our 2650 uh, three cells in there. So. Um, if you're wondering about the wiring for the fat this guy shark. comes with all the harness uh, leads you need. So it's USB straight into there. Okay, now what I've done for the wiring, the wiring comes out of the, of all, all you're using on this, because this has got its own battery, all you're using is your video signal and ground. So yellow, black. So I've taken the other leads out of the fat shark. Okay, I've taken the, the audio leads off and the power lead, um, just, so, just so I've not got live power running around. And um, basically that comes out of there, right, and it goes basically into the on-screen display, on-screen display straight up into here. So pretty straightforward, okay. And the power just goes from that filter, you plug this battery into the filter, so you can't have your little can't have your little uh, alarm, but you don't need that if you can see on the screen what your battery voltage is. Okay, so basically that's it. So we'll um, we'll kick her off and have a look. Oh, just another thing about this frame. I did a bit of a build on this frame. Um, I have modified that. This this frame is what they call the X580. Now, hmm, if you ask my opinion on it, um, I'm glad I've got it. I'm glad I've built it. And I don't think I'd build another one. So I have modified it. Um, why wouldn't you? Um, I don't like the little bits that come out the end, the little fiberglass doodads here that uh, hold the motor on. They, they flex. So all I've done is I've just bolted the motor straight onto the, um, onto the frame. So as far as being a true 580, no, it's going to be a bit less than 580. It's going to be somewhere along the now, lines of a 580. If you have a look at the configuration of this guy, you'll notice one thing, that it's wider across here than it is across here. Okay, so it uh, doesn't matter which way you try to configure this thing with the slots here. If you go to that set of slots and that set of slots, you end up with it looking that way facing forward, because that's forward at the moment. So you can either have it that way with wide there, or you can have it this way. You can't get the perfect X. Now, having said that, um, I don't think that's going to affect my flying. I had a, I did have a little test flight of it out the front of my house last night just to see how it went. And um, 328 P awesome. board. Now that 328 P board is uh, been around the block a few times, so it's been in quite a few quads. It is tricked up. Okay, it's been tweaked. And um, you know, I don't like anything stock standard other than the PIDs. Don't, I've never touched the PIDs. Um, I haven't played around with PIDs since I had a KK board. But I have changed the RC rate and I have changed the um, RC Expo and the pitch. As I said, this frame, 
what a terror to put together. Hey? You've, and the part I don't understand, and you'll notice there's some parts missing here, you don't get all the parts for it. So there's a few bits missing. But the issue I've got, I've got a lot of bits left over. So someone needs to learn how to count. But anyway, no biggie. You know, life's not perfect. If it was, I don't think I'd be here. So um, basically what you've got to do is put all that together, the bottom, um, this bottom landing gear. Then you've got to mount it on that plate. And then once you've mounted on the bottom plate, you've got to put your, you know, whatever. I'm running a distribution board inside there. <coughs> and um, once, once you do that, then you put your boom arms on. And then you mount your top plate. And uh, as you can see, some of those bolts in there are quite snug in there. So, hmm, that was a bit of a pat your belly, rub your head exercise, that one. But we got there and it looks like a good frame. 20 bucks, and how can you go Mr. wrong? And then Newbie 550, which I'm hoping, hoping it's not his age, um, when he laid down the challenge, I thought, well, bring it on. We'll, we'll put it together, a bit of an incentive. And uh, here we are now. We were going to film up at Walker Waterworks. So, you know, where you're looking here, that's Maitland just over here, just on the other side of the, the green shed over there. You probably can't see. Um, the issue that we've got to... There you go, can you hear that? The issue we've got, it's Steamfest weekend. So you get a, you got all the old steam trains. You'll probably hear them in the background as we fly. Do you want to take a fly, eh? Stop talking, start squawking.